Welcome back people, we have another video. This is on the M365 Pro. So we have the electric scooter, well, this electric scooter on the on the channel, quite a bit of me doing repairs, upgrades, tire changes, and uh, problems that I've come across. Also the M365 Pro 2, we have that. And uh, how to hack the Pro 2, I've got a video, and how to hack the M365 Pro. I made a video on how to do the speed hack many years ago, and, um, had to make a new one because people were said the software was changed so again i've done a new speed hack on this and i've also got the um, description for the hack in the description below for people who want to do it anyway today this is the head stem now i've never had this happen to me on my scooter before if i'm one million percent honest but um i don't know my brother always makes the impossible possible <laughs> so i've got the m365 pro 2 he has the m365 pro so today we're doing this head stem i brought this off ebay you can buy this off ebay yourself you can type in um m365 pro stem and you will find it another way to find it also is by typing m365 pro parts now i can't unfortunately give you the link for this item just because if it didn't turn up for any whatever reason, I don't want to take any responsibility for it and you guys get angry and that kind of thing. So, um, unfortunately, I can't leave any link. But it's very easy to find it on eBay. It cost me £18.97, so £19. Let's get into it. I've never done this before, so um, it's going to be a first for, for, for you guys and definitely for me. It's definitely my first time ever doing it. I've changed a few parts on other bikes before, head stems and stuff. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to do this. So I've got an Allen key, which is a six, uh, five mil, sorry, five mil Allen key. I've got a pipe wrench just there, just in case I need to get that off. That I think the pipe wrench, because it's so big and so heavy, I think that's going to be the one. But it might come out easy. We give it a shot. So I've got an Allen key. I've got the new part. Let's put that to one side before you get started always make sure very very important you got your morning coffee mm. you can't work without coffee unless you're too young to drink coffee and then of course you wouldn't be able to so i also here have an oil wrench as well which this is um to basically remove your oil filter off a motorbike and as you can see that's quite wide so um i'm gonna be Keeping that to hand, just in case the pipe wrench don't work. And we'll also have a pair of adjustable grips. Very, very big. I've got a playlist on the channel. Um, and it will it's under as e-bikes and electric scooters. Or electric scooters and e-bikes, whatever. Anything to do with electric bikes or scooters, you will find it there. So um, let's get straight into it, shall we? First off, I'm going to start by undoing this bolt just here. Well, wish me luck. Okay, maybe that is not the right one. I'm sure it fit in there. Yeah, it did. Okay. <clears throat> wow, that one was uh, not as tight as what I would have thought it would have been, to be honest. Okay, the other side's spinning. Mm, is that not a five mil? Don't think it is. <laughs> Okay, you need two five mils, one to hold the other side. Let me try this one here, see if this one fits. Mm, no, it doesn't. Okay, well, that's not the that's not the best of starts. Okay, so I'm going to leave that. I'm going to undo this side here. There's a bolt there and a bolt there. One facing forward going in and this one facing that way going in. Be the same on the other side. So it's what happened with this scooter was the head stem actually snapped off. As you can see, there's no... Uh, bracket on the end of that I broke that but there was a pin that goes through here and it holds this part up now the pin that goes through um, yeah don't ask me how but somehow my my brother managed to break it so <laughs> yeah I can't explain how he done that <clears throat> other than he does like jumping off curbs so I'm guessing could be wrong but I'm guessing that's how he done it <clears throat> We've got some really new, exciting stuff coming soon to the channel to do with electric bikes and scooters. So uh, if you are new, make sure you subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss. We've got some amazing content coming. It's going to be great fun. I'm quite looking forward to it, actually. I'm going to be making those videos after I've done this video. So 
it should be coming soon but yeah electric bikes electric scooters we've got some great fun coming oh wow unfortunately um you won't see my dog walking past anymore in the videos sadly she did um she passed away i'm pretty sure most of you know that by now but there's been a few of you who have said where's the dog where's the dog so um yeah um she got she got too old okay so i'm gonna put that on there i'm just gonna twist that like that just because that's gonna be a quicker way to undo it okay there we go all right so that's that loosened off there is no bolts on the other side so one bolt here and one here then there's the one in the center so I'm now going to loosen the one in the center. Ugh. Wow, that was extremely loose. These bolts are always a good thing to check anyway, even if you're not doing the repair. They're a good thing to check just because this is uh, quite an important part of the scooter, of course. So every now and again, make sure you... You do give it a little bit of a tighten up so we've got a little small washer then we have this little black piece so i'm going to sit that upside down like that and just leave that to one side for the minute and here we are we have it off so now i have that off i have to pull this part here off and for me to pull this part off this is why i have the wrench because um I don't think I'll be able to get it off otherwise. It looks like he might have, yeah, he's broken the the uh, the catch again. I replaced that once before for him and he's gone and, gone and broke it again. I don't know how he does it. I really don't. Okay, anyway, so I'm gonna get a pipe wrench on this now and give it a twist. And um, this part here is inside the scooter. So that's why I got the pipe wrench. I'm hoping, that I'm going to be able to stick it on, loosen it up. I really don't know if this is going to work. Just a matter of trial and error right now. Jeez, this is pipe wrenches. Next level heavy duty. <laughs> so the pipe wrench, if you're interested in where to buy that, I bought that again on eBay and, um, it cost me uh, 16 pounds. So it's um, T-L-T-T-A-L, industrial. That's the name of it. Okay. This is not gonna be a very easy process, I'm guessing. Get a bit more tightened up on there. Okay. I definitely think this would be a lot easier if I had someone else with me, that's for sure. The thing that restricts me a little bit is um, is that, to be honest, is the cable. Um, I think I might need to move this part, and I don't have a Phillips screwdriver on me. But I managed to get it with that, so that's good. Right, hold on. So yeah, I do play games. We live stream games, show new games, old games and stuff. I will be back to streaming at some point. Just right now is a, it's a little bit rough for me. So um, just having a little bit of a time out. But don't worry, I'm still uploading videos and stuff. I just need to take a little bit of a break from, from live streaming for a bit. Just whilst I regather my thoughts and myself. If that makes sense probably not okay well i'm glad i took that off one because it's broken but two there is an allen key right there so uh good job i didn't put too much pressure because otherwise i would have snapped that bolt and i need that bolt so that was lucky okay, not the allen key so i'm guessing it could be a one yeah it's a one okay there we go well that's extremely loose as well Let's 
take that out. We need that screw, so I'm going to leave that to one side with the Allen key. And then this, I wonder if I could just pull it out now. See, one thing I want to try, if I can, this piece of plastic really needs to come off. It's in my way and doesn't work. I'm going to go like this. And then see if I can go like that. I haven't got enough room because of the cable. <clears throat> wow, look at that. I put a massive scratch there. All right. I'm not too bothered about scratches. Luckily, nor is my brother, I don't think. As long as he'll be back on the road riding this thing again, I think that's his, uh, his main concern. It's very difficult to do alone, though. It would definitely be a lot easier if I had someone to hold the other part of the scooter, then I could put more pressure, but unfortunately, my dog can't help me today. And nor could anyone else, because they're all at work. <sighs> Try and get a tight grip on it. No, I'm going to have to take it down further. Okay, let's try that. So I know the camera's a little bit all over the place. Normally I do make videos to, for around about 8 to 10 minute mark. But sometimes when you're doing videos like this, they do take that a little bit longer. So uh, I like to not make too much edits. <laughs> One, because it's quicker that way. And two, you actually get to see what I'm doing. I'm going to try it from this way. Don't think I can. That cable is really in my way. I don't know if they glued it or anything inside there. That's the only thing that I'm thinking right now. Um, all right. Let me, uh, it's so difficult by yourself. I don't know, um, I'm pretty sure there is no more screw. Let me just look inside. There's nothing there. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything. I just gotta somehow try and get this thing off. Um, see, it's what I would have done. It's got my brother to hold the actual pole itself. Put the screwdriver like that. And then I would have hit it with an hammer, but kind of hard to do by yourself <clears throat> mm. it's gonna be a tricky one definitely gonna be a tricky one if I got any chance to get it off I think it is gonna be with these pipe wrench just because they are so insanely heavy duty so I gotta gotta try and use this if I can Wow, is it even moving? <clears throat> Doesn't look like it. That slipped. Um, okay, just thinking of different ways of how I can approach it. Okay, let's lay the scooter down. It wants to lay down. <laughs> uh, how in the world am I going to get that out there? See, I could have put this in a vise, but again, I don't have a vise, so that option is not available. But that would have been a good way to do it, I think. I'm going to take this bracket off here. I thought it was an Allen key. It actually isn't. There's, um there's a bolt on the other side so I'm going to stick the allen key in try and get rid of that I think that will help me out a little bit okay allen key in doesn't look like that nut is turning it's undoing it though
There we go. I think that's going to help out a little bit. All right, so I'm just going to put the uh, broken part over to one side. Let's get some more of that coffee. Coffee always helps. Oh, that's great. Okay. So now we've got this part. I'm going to see if I can try and pinch the side of this and try and wiggle it. <clears throat> see if that... See if that gets it going. Okay. I've got pins and needles now. So that's awesome. I can try and pinch that. Let me just lift up the camera a little bit because it does keep on going down and you can't see what I'm doing. I'm wondering if this is going to, this is either going to shift it or it's going to make it snap. And I'm guessing probably snap, but let's see. Okay, this is being a little bit. And a bit more tricky than what I thought. I just want to try and get it moving. Once I get it moving, I think then that will do it. It's very limited. That cable is really not helping me out. Try and put that in this way. Is that gonna do it? Just move, just move a little bit. That's all I need. Nope, it snapped it. I thought it would have done. It snapped off. Has it moved it though? Nope. Wow. If I had a whole new head stem, I could have just disconnected the wires and do it that way. But that's definitely more of an inexpensive way to do it. Probably an easier way to do it for sure, but um, yeah, definitely an expensive way. Looks like there's a little bit of a gap there now. If I can try and get a screwdriver under it just a little bit. Not quite. <laughs> just need a little bit of room there. And then as soon as I can get a screwdriver under there, I'll be able to pinch it. This is definitely the hardest part of it, for sure trying to get this thing off that's why I brought this pipe wrench specifically just for this you could probably do it with grips if you had a vice to hold it in you could probably do it with a few other things as well but I don't have a vice I don't want to put too much pressure on the handlebars at the top because I don't want to snap it Thing will not budge. Whew. Okay, don't think that moved it. Nope. So I don't know if they glued inside there. I'm going to put the screwdriver and try hitting it. That ain't going to work. Um, Alright, 
I think it's what I'm going to do. I'm going to have to make an edit. I'm going to cut the video. And uh, if I manage to get it shifting, get it moving, I'll bring you guys back in a sec. Okay, so after a few days, and after a good few edits, <laughs> this pole, I don't know, it's, it looks like inside there, there's some kind of glue or some, some kind of residue of some sort of type. So I'm guessing that's proper in there. And as you can see, I've scratched the hell out of this thing trying to get it in. Um, I've tried absolutely everything. The only ways I can think of getting it off is maybe getting a heat gun. My dad suggested that, which is probably the only way you're going to do it, I think. Heat gun, heat this up, and um, then you might be able to pull that off. Or if not, even putting it over a gas stove for a little bit. Um, yeah, again, heating this part up and then able to pull that off. But I even snapped off this part here. That's what's left of it. It looks like a right mess. After many days of ordering different parts, so we have this part that I showed you. This was part of the, the bottom part. That's what we was going to put this into that old pipe. No luck. But after many, many hours, probably days of searching for this, I managed to find it. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys, just in case um, you want to try and get this part yourself. But yeah, this part was really, really hard to find. But in the end, I did manage to find it, which is the main thing. I looked all over eBay, AliExpress, and um, loads of other websites. I managed to find this one eventually on Amazon. Did look on Amazon for a long time, and I couldn't find nothing, but I managed to find it. So this is a new pole. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> so we've got a couple of bolts that it come with. I've already screwed those in just to speed up the process a little bit. So we gotta now try and put this back on and connect everything back together. And hopefully my brother Scooter will be up and running again. So this pole costs 33 pounds. If you don't am have Amazon Prime, then it will cost you a 4 dollars for next day delivery. But the other good thing is, is this piece of plastic, the lock-in for the mechanism there, that was snapped and he needed a new one of those. So by buying this, is basically got him everything he needs this part the bottom bracket a new pole that's not all scratched to hell let's see if we are able to put this on here so i'm gonna quickly just tighten up these bolts a little bit just that way we get these bolts kind of through if i get the right allen key that would definitely help oh wow okay let's do it that way then is that even that's not even the right Allen key either. Oh, and I don't think I have, that one does look like it does fit. No, that one is too small. <clears throat> I can't find the right Allen key. I honestly thought that was it. <clears throat> That's definitely not gonna fit. All right, another cut and an edit. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right, back again. So, this is um, a very small Allen key that I found, but it's the only Allen key that I've got that fits it. So uh, we'll make do. It is a little bit stiff getting the bolts in. I don't know why it's so stiff, but it's um, yeah, it's definitely not easy getting the bolts in there. So you're gonna definitely need a little bit of pressure. When doing this, if you're a kid, I Definitely recommend getting an adult to help you just because this part is quite an important part of the scooter, of course. Um, the electrics and stuff obviously are important, but this is also because you need it to stay on the scooter nice and tight. So, yeah, get an adult who can help you tighten this up. If you ever got any questions or comments for anything on the electric scooter, let me know in the comments section below. And of course, I'll try and get back to you guys as quick as I can. Don't get offended if I don't respond to you straight away, or if I forget to respond to you. Obviously, I get comments across all of my YouTube channel, and there's quite a lot of videos that I have to comment back to every single day. Just in the process of got to fix that electric bike out that we built as well. Made videos on that, but <clears throat> for the electric bike, I've got a flat tire. So uh, it's going to be a Another another video that I've got to get that up and running again. And then I've got to get a new tube. <sighs> Everything that goes wrong 
can go wrong, but I'd rather get a punch in now rather than later. But anyway, is what I'm doing now is taking out this little screw just here at the side of the scooter. This screw is going to have to go back in in a short second. Um, and then we're going to now, I don't even know where that screw is going to go back into, to be honest. Um, I think maybe that screw was meant to stay in there, actually. Because there's no way for me to screw it in. Okay, ignore that. I made that mistake. <laughs> okay, let's put that screw back in. I don't... I think that's probably there, that screw, to stop this part lifting up. Or coming off, loosening up. Okay. Let's get that nice and snug on there. <coughs> there we go. Make sure this is the right way. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap there. But if you twist it and keep pushing down, you'll hear this. You hear that little click and then it pushes down. So that's that's in. There you go. You hear that like click. So once that's pushed down, let's get our new pole. I'm going to have to thread all the wires through and everything again. That's going to be fun. And that's how that is going to go on there like that. So before I do that, we of course got to open up the bracket. And then we've got to put the uh, put that like that. And then we've got to put the new nut, or the original nut, should I say, back down inside there. So let's do that. I'm trying to get all the right camera angles. Okay, screw that in. Nice and tight. I want it tight, but to the point where I'm still able to turn the wheel without it being stiff. Okay, that's a little stiff. Let's loosen off a little bit. There you go. I just want to see, it should be almost impossible to turn if I tighten that up too tight. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, no it's not. Normally if you do those head bolts too tight, normally it makes the handlebar stiff, but it's not doing it for this one, so I'm going to keep tightening it. <clears throat> okay, it still moves nice and freely. Let's tighten it a bit more then. Okay, there you go. Now it's quite stiff. Oh, hold on. It sort of loosened itself up. Let me do a bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit stiff. So you can do that up a good amount, but obviously you don't want that really tight. Always make sure that the handlebars are able to move left and right, nice and smooth. There you go. That feels perfect, nice and soft. Okay, so we're gonna put that up. I'm gonna put the damper back in. Um, not quite sure what I did with it. <laughs> I'll have to find the damper, I'll have to find it. Okay, so these cables we can put back in, but before I do, let's tighten up these bolts here and here. <clears throat> if I can find where I put, oh, there you go, that Allen key fits. Oh my gosh, and I was looking for ages for one, and there's one beside me all the time. Nobody saw that. <laughs> oh, it's early in the morning, all right? It's early, early hours in the morning. I haven't uh, had that morning dose of coffee yet, so the brain's not 100%. That's definitely a lot better than the other Allen key, though. Okay, so these I'm going to do them tight, but I'm not going to over tighten them because, of course, I don't want to snap them. I'm just making sure they are nice and snugged up. You don't want to tighten one, tighten them both kind of about the same amount because otherwise you're going to pull too much strain on one and you could end up snapping that so okay that one's quite tight let's 
check this one as you tighten one the other one I feel looser okay that one's quite tight don't think I need to do that one anymore probably will actually because I've tightened the bottom one when you tighten one yeah the other one gets a little bit not loose but not as much pressure got to get it even okay there we go at long last that feels nice and smooth so that's good okay so we now have to put the uh, cable back up through I don't know how we're gonna reach it up the top there but we'll find a way <clears throat> how much that go not very much <clears throat> see if I put them both in together if that make any difference try and help push it up so I will put I will put all the other parts back on as well in a minute we're gonna put the uh, head stem thing back on and also the um, the little waterproof clips there okay so we need the head stem which is there we need a couple of allen keys not sure which one, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of them. <clears throat> the four bolts that we took off originally, let's grab them as well. All right, so there's the uh, brake cable that needs to come through this part here. Um, need to get the electric wire up through there. I don't see it. It's almost there. Do I have a screwdriver? I do. Let me grab that. See if I can try. Try and get this up. Come on. It's close. Can't quite. Oh, almost. Come on. I can feel it there. Just can't quite, quite get it. Come on, almost, it's so close there, I almost have it. There we go, that's got it. Whew. <laughs> that's a lot harder than what it looks. Okay, let's take this red cable, brake cable down then. That needs to come out of there. Uh, okay, let me get a screwdriver in there. That went so bad. Push the cable from the bottom. There we go. Right, so there's the brake. Okay, let's get this connected back on. He's going to be quite happy because he hasn't been able to use the scooter for a few days because waiting for different parts to turn up. Okay, so there's an arrow on there and arrow on here. Make sure those arrows are pointing each other. That is right. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay. So push that back down the tube. Making sure we don't catch any wires. There we go. Let's just turn it on quick. Perfect. So as well as showing the speed hack, that is, um, we, did a, we did a video on the M365 Pro, which this is the Pro, and the Pro 2. 
I've shown how to do the speed hack for both of these scooters and you'll find those videos on the channel. This here is also a display hack that I've done on the M365 Pro. And unfortunately it's not available just yet for the Pro 2. When it does I'll make a video on it but this shows you your battery percentage. I changed the screen into red because it just looks different, it looks alright. So red, um, yeah there's my battery obviously when I move it still shows the miles per hour. I will do that once I connect the rest of it up. And I'll show you the top speed as well. Okay, so brake lever. Let's put that in. Pull that back around. There we go. So there's the brake. Obviously, I need to tighten up the cable down there, but I'll do that in, in a sec. Okay, this is what the um, scooter actually came with, so I'm going to use that. So we've got to put these four bolts back in up here. These always do come loose, so always make sure that if you don't have this thing that I'm using that the scooter come with, make sure you do buy some Allen keys because <clears throat> this definitely does rattle loose over time going over bumps and stuff. He's going to be real happy. I did tell him I was doing it today, I'm just going to send him a picture or a little short video and show him that I've got it up and running again. <laughs> it's going to make his day. He spends a lot of money on um, on Ubers recently. So this is a good thing. I'm just doing them roughly tight and then I'll go over and I'll tighten them up a bit more in a second. That looks like the wrong screw there. Did I not pick up another screw? Don't think I did. Nope. Okay, I'm it's there. I don't know what that screw was that I picked up, but it wasn't the right one. Because I got the electric bike out, and I'm doing work on that. I got screws and bolts and tools all over the place. Okay, so starting with the top one, do that. Nice and snug, bottom one. Nice and snug again. Go back to the top, because it'll probably be a bit looser now. Yep. Top one, nice and tight. Bottom one. Okay, let's move around to the top one again. That's quite tight, that top one. And so is that bottom one. Just give it a good tighten anyway. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so there's that. Now we gotta sort out the brake. Let me grab the Allen keys out of my pocket. Okay. Oh, camera angle. Okay, let's undo this bolt. And then we can pull that, push that forward. Like that. So for adjusting the brake, you can do what I'm doing now. There's a three ways to adjust this brake. So one, by undoing the cable completely, like I did this bolt right here, this one, or the other two ways you can adjust it. I pulled it cable tight. There was a bit of slack at the top. The other way is you can adjust it by this twisty bit, or you can get an Allen key in over on the other side. And as you see there, hopefully you can see that where the Allen key is touching, that you can put an Allen key in this part and you can turn it turn it this way and it tighten up the brake turn it the opposite way and it has stopped the pads rad, uh, rubbing so let me check the brake okay it's not working so I'm now gonna do what I just said put an Allen key through can't even see it there you go so that's now in Hopefully you can see the Allen key coming through there. I'm going to twist it. And as I twist it, 
I'm going to just rock it back and forth a little bit and pull the brake lever. Okay, the pads are too close there. Okay, that's not making any sound, so that's right. I just need to tighten up this cable again because, as I said, when I pulled it, there was a bit of slack at the top of the cable. And because there was a bit of slack at the top of the cable, ended up pulling it, not pulling it enough. Needed to pull it more. It's so much better when you've got a pair of pliers to hold the cable, but I was going to say, I don't have any close by, but I do have some grips, so I'm going to use that. There we go. Don't think it's going to be long until he's going to need a new um, new brake cable on there to be honest because that is threading a little bit again if i do do that i'll always make videos on on it if anything goes wrong with this or the m365 pro 2 again i just keep making videos just to try and help you guys out as much as i can okay let's have a film Okay, the brake's still quite loose. Let me see if I can adjust it a bit more on here. I think I needed to pull that cable even more. The brake is working, but I'm pulling the brake lever in quite a bit, and I don't like that, so. I like the brake to be quite quite instant so as soon as you pull the brake lever the brake engages almost straight away rather than pulling it quite a bit before it engages okay so kind of about there that could be too tight now <laughs> Okay, not a bit too tight, just okay. There's still movement, so it's not rubbing. Brake cable always make sure it's insanely tight, literally, probably over the top, ridiculous. But <coughs> I do that just for safety. Now I pull the brake, and that engages straight away. The way I like it to be. Again, everyone's different. You don't have to have it this way. But um, this is the way that works good for me. So look, I pull the brake. Tiny bit. And the brake engages there. Whereas if before, this lever was touching that. Touching the actual grip. Okay. We're up and running again. He's got his scooter back. The only thing we need left to do now... Is putting those little bits so I'll do that in a second but let's quickly show you this because I did say I would so push it forward use the throttle top speed 20 miles an hour autopilot there we go then I hit the brake there we go perfect so yeah it shows you your battery percentage in numbers rather than obviously you still have the bars but it shows you in numbers which I like that because these scooters, they're completely dead flat when they're at 20%. Always remember that. So that's pretty, pretty good. Okay, switch that off for a minute because I don't want it on. Don't need it on. Then it's changed over to the last final pieces, which is these. Hopefully I can get all of them back in. All right. Not quite sure which way these go, but again, everything that I'm doing here is for the very first time. I've never done any of this before, so if I can do it for the very first time, you guys definitely can as well. Maybe it looks like that cable runs that way. 
is it? Oh, I don't know. I don't know why I looked at the other side. I could have looked at my scooter. Doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. It's just a little small piece of silicone that we're just pushing in. Try and keep it waterproof. There we go. You can kind of hear it. It almost like clicks a little bit, but that one's in there. Okay, so the next one is this one here. The last one that goes on the front, because that's only got one. So let's put this one in. Well, this one might be a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain. That cable's really pushing in against that part. You can always use a screwdriver to help push it push it in, but I don't want to do that just because I don't want to I don't want to split it. There we go, that made a little clicking sound. Might need a screwdriver on there, push that piece in. There we go, perfect. So yeah, I definitely will leave a link below because this was a little bit of a pain to find this one. So in total we spent 20 something pound on that bottom bracket and then we ordered a bar and that was um, 12 quid and we found out when the bar turned up it was actually this handlebar piece coming along here even though the picture showed this this long bit but it weren't all right there we go he's back up and running again um, I need to have a quick look, see if I've got some wipes. I think I have. No, nope, I haven't. Okay, I'll clean it off, off cam. <laughs> I was going to clean it and make it look uh, brand new, but that's all right. It's working again. He's back on the road, so I'd be happy with that. So I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Any comments, leave in the comment section below. And I, of course, I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. If you want to become a member and support the channel a little bit more, click the link in the description below. If not, by subscribing, sharing the content definitely helps me grow as a content creator. Thank you everyone who, who is able to do that and who does do that. And yeah, I'll leave also a link for this actual proper, I don't know what you want to call it, stem, head stem, handle, handlebar, connector, I don't know, downpipe. <sighs> yeah, you can call it a million things. Anyway, hope you guys did enjoy this one. We'll catch you people again soon with some more fun and games. I am out.